the question I got asked is this. How do I know an email that I sent to someone who I BCC'd it to or even who I carbon copied or CC'd it to? I'm going to explain what these mean and I'm going to show you how to view who you sent a message to in Gmail or Google Workspace. But before I do, hit that subscribe and notify button because I create all of this content for you. I'm going to first create an email. I'm going to send this email to my buddy, what would be me, to my business account right there. Now, that's the to box, okay? And by the way, you can click on the to right there and select contacts from your Google contacts in case you didn't know that. Now, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Now, I'm going to show you right here. I'm going to click in the to box. Look right over here. I have CC and BCC. Let me explain these to you. CC. What that means is you're, it used to, it's the old word of carbon copy. And what it means is I'm sending an email to Teddy and I'm going to uh, carbon copy Lee. So I'm sending the message to Teddy, but I'm copying, and the old term again was carbon copying, to Lee at BurrisConsulting.com. So he's going to get this message, but he's going to see, if he pays attention to what CC means, the message is to Teddy, but I'm just alerting Lee or Lee1 about the message. Now there's one more style, and that's BCC. This is called blind carbon copy. And what blind carbon copy means, let me send it to somebody else. I'm going to send it to my other Gmail account. So this is blind carbon copy. And what that means is neither Lee nor Teddy will know that I quietly, blindly, secretively am also sending this to Teddy Burris at gmail.com. Now, if Teddy Burris at gmail.com is smart and understands that BCC means blind copy, he won't reply all and respond back to these guys because these guys don't know that he got this message. So that's how I send it. Let me show a couple other ones. Let me, let me put a couple other email addresses in the blind carbon copy because I'm going to show you how to go later and see who you sent it to. Now you'll notice I sent these to Lee1, Lee3, Lee4, and Lee5. Here's the cool thing. Because I manage my own domain, BurrisConsulting.com, I have the ability to go see all the emails that come that are not deliverable. Lee1, Lee3, Lee4, Lee5 are not deliverable. But I have the ability to go see those email messages. Now I'm going to put a subject. And I'm going to hit send. Now that message just went out. And so uh, it got delivered to all those guys. Let me show you what happened and see, show you the BCC on another account. Give me a second. Now here's the message that uh, Teddy at Burris Consulting got. I click on the little down arrow right here, show details. And you can see that um, it got sent to, from the Burris Consulting at Gmail. T.L. Burris at Burris Consulting got it, and so did Lee One at Burris Consulting. Look, the two and the CC, but they don't see the blind copy, so they don't know that it went to that person. Now, I'm going to show you what a BCC person got. Let me go look at that account. So here's the email that got sent out, and you can see I hit this little down arrow right here. Now, I can see it went to Teddy Burris or T.L. Burris at Burris Consulting. It went to Lee One at Burris Consulting as a CC. But the only person who sees the BCC is the individual. Now, I won't see the other individuals. This is I'm, I'm logged into the uh, Teddy Burris uh, at gmail.com account right here. I'm not going to see the other people who were blind copied. I'm only going to see my own name. And I'm going to see the people who were CC'd or the people who it was sent directly to. Now, let's go back to the account that sent it. And let me show you how that account can see everybody he sent it to. All right. So from the account that sent the email, I'm right where you can see I'm at BurrisConsulting at gmail.com. It was sent from BurrisConsulting at gmail.com. I went to the sent items right here. And then you can see right there is the email message. Click on it. Now, click the down arrow, show details. I can see I sent it to, T T uh, to Teddy Burris at this address. You can see it was copied 
to this email address, you can see it was blind copied to these folks here. Okay, now here's what's really cool about this. If I go to reply or watch this, even if I go to reply, oh, I hit the wrong button. Give me a second. If I go to reply all, it's only going to reply to who I sent it to and who I cc'd. It's not going to include the BCC. Let me delete that message. So if I want to reply to all, and I want to also blind copy the group that I sent the message to before, then what I have to do is this. The, e the easiest way I've found to do it is do this. Hit the down arrow, copy these email addresses right here. Get my cursor so it doesn't highlight a name. Copy these email addresses by highlighting, hit Control C or Command C, and then go over here and reply all. Then click on one of these email addresses up here. Then I can click BCC and I can paste the email addresses that I blind copied before. Then I can continue typing, uh, hey guys, here's an update. And again, if I click over here, you'll see the email is going to go to Teddy Burris. It's going to copy Lee One. And it's going to blind copy these other email addresses just as I did before. But this time, the, diff the only difference this time is that I'm replying all uh, where before I sent the message. And then when I hit send message, it'll go out just as it did before. But be very careful when you're doing blind copy really recommend you be very deliberate about that i have seen where people would do a blind copy and one of these people say hey did you see the email that teddy sent uh, blah 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 about xyz and others were not supposed to know that they saw that these people saw that email address R strongly encourage you to be careful i could tell you horror stories about companies going bankrupt because of that kind of a chaos and by the way, this all works in Google, uh, Gmail, and a web browser. I'm not showing you how to do this in Outlook or in uh, any other email platform, but only Google, Gmail, or Google Workspace in a web browser. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. I hope this is helpful for you.